Hello, this is Srini Saipali and I welcome you to GoRichOnline.com. Uh, today, about uh, six hours ago, uh, uh, Terry made a comment on this blog asking how to put an opt-in form on the WordPress blog. And, you know, I was about to get ready, I was getting ready to go to India and I paused myself, I said, why don't I record a small video and exactly show how to do this. In fact, if you, if you are on, 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 on the website now, and if you have seen this website before, you might have seen I'm not using any opt-in box yet. So I'm going to I'm hopefully, you know, by the time you're seeing this video, this opt-in box is already there, but it was not there up till now. So again, thanks Terry for bringing this up. That actually uh, made me do this, uh, and and I also recorded it so that you could see this, and everyone else who's watching this video can also now see how to put in an opt-in box using Aweber, which is my autoresponder, and connecting that using a text widget on WordPress blog. Again, the technique is very simple. What I'm going to demonstrate to you is how to do this with WordPress and Aweber. That being said, thank you for watching this video and let's go to that video and see how this is being done. Thank you. My name is Ripali and I welcome you to GoRichOnline.com and on this recording I want to show you how to put an opt-in box on your website. I am on GoRichOnline.com right now and as you see, I don't have an opt-in box here. The sad part is I'm getting a lot of traffic here to this site, but I'm not, con I'm not actually capturing their information. So I want to show you this. There was a question by one of my, one of my readers, Terry, and and I decided to record this video and post it here. So um, we don't, we want to put an opt-in box right over here, which will, uh, which we, wherein we'll get the first name and the last name of the subscriber. Now, I want to do this with uh, two components. This website is running on WordPress and I will use Aweber as my autoresponder. So I'm going to go to Aweber now and uh, let's let's go there and let's uh, let's see how to set up the list in Aweber. So here I am on aweber.com and um, I'm going to use my use my username and if you if you already have an account do that username and uh, the password. Now I'm logged in into Aweber and uh, I have created a new list. In fact, I, I created this list uh, uh, some time ago. It's called Go Rich Online. This is the list that I created. And uh, you know, there are certain things that you need to fill in here. This is pretty, pretty straightforward. Any, any, other, any other website, any other list autoresponder that you're using has some mandatory parameters that you need to fill in. But um, the most important thing that we need to do is we have to get an HTML code from Aweber and we'll take that and post it onto, uh, onto my WordPress blog. So um, once, once you are here, the first thing you have to do is click on list settings and under list settings, you have to go to, you have to go to web form. So let's click on web form. It's coming up. And then we click on create web form. Taking some time. Okay, so the web the form name should be as go rich online opt-in form. And we'll do we'll click what is called inline. It appears in the current web page. So be careful with that. You gotta select that. And then uh, you know uh, we'll skip the default auto response as number one no need to do much here click next and then what we'll do is we'll click on name here so email we got email we got name so you highlight name and just move it a little bit up so that way you have name and email here and uh, if you want to add any headline here you can do that so uh, what I would like to add here is I'll say uh, to subscribe Please uh, I'll say subscribe to Internet More Getting Tips Now. Okay, 
and I'll, I'll can come back and change it later but that's what I'll leave it now so that's that's what it is here and uh, pretty much so scroll down a little bit and we will say uh, we'll say save here okay and uh, we're good to go so the next thing we have to do is click on get HTML and there are two options here uh, we can take this code or we can scroll down and we can take this code here I would prefer taking this code here because this is the JavaScript and it's very well tagged between uh, the start of the script end of script so highlight this script right click and say copy now it's copied and what we will do is we'll take that code and we'll paste it in our blog to do that we have to log in as admin uh, I am right now in the admin area in 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 my in my uh, WordPress blog of Gorich online so once you log in I'm using 2.5 as the WordPress blog platform click on design once you log in click on design and then click on widgets and you can scroll down a little bit and then here you'll see text here click on add it adds a text button here move it to the top click on edit and paste the script that that you you that we, we that we you get from Aweber in this case with we, we, we copied this so all you have to do is right click and say paste it so pastes it and then you say change and then you say save changes okay so it's saving right now save let's go click on revisit site and as you see we just got an opt-in box on to the right side of this web page on the blog people can now opt in when they come here and this is something that I was missing on the blog and I'm going to leave it here and uh, again thanks to Terry who asked me this question on how to put an opt-in box on the WordPress blog very simple if you have any questions I would encourage to see this video one more time slowly and see what exactly I have done to put this opt-in form on the WordPress blog Thank you for visiting this website. Thank you for watching this video. This is Srini Sripali wishing you all the best. Thank you.